Hi YouTube, it's Kathy, and I'm here to announce the Queers Gone By Challenge. If you're thinking to yourself, didn't this girl just announce the Queer Lit Readathon a little while ago? You are correct, and I will link that up here if you missed it. This is a completely different thing. This is a challenge that was created by Molly, who goes by Buy Bookish Babe on Twitter. She reached out to a bunch of other queer bloggers, and then also me as a vlogger, to bring awareness to this challenge she's created. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I will link all of the hosts down below. This is quite an extensive challenge as well, so it might be beneficial to actually read their posts as opposed to try to remember everything I'm about to say. Especially because I'm not going to go into depth about each of the challenges because there are a lot of them. I will go into depth about my own challenges though. The first thing to know is that through this challenge, Molly is hosting giveaways. Essentially, when you complete challenges, you get points and all of those points will go into a pool and somebody will win. The challenges are revolving around queer women from history. There are five challenges per woman and if you complete all of the challenges, for one particular woman, you get extra points. Every time you complete a challenge, that's two entries, and every time you complete all of the challenges for one particular woman, that's an extra five entries, so 15 entries if you're counting. Also be sure to use the hashtag QueersGoneBy on social media when you've completed a challenge so that Molly can keep track of this. You can also read one book for multiple challenges. Alongside this reading challenge, there's also going to be an art challenge, so if you are an artistic person who can actually draw and paint and stuff, unlike me, who just likes my coloring books, definitely check out that. The reading and art challenges start on June 1st and go all the way to the end of August. You have until the end of September 1st to submit all of your entries, and on September 6th she will announce winners. Molly came up with a list of queer women throughout history, and we each got to choose two. And the first one I chose was somebody I'd never heard of, and that's Anne Bancroft. From my understanding, there's also an actress of this name, but we're talking about The Explorer. Since Anne was born in 1955, the first challenge is to read a book set in 1955 or later. The second challenge is to read a book with an all-female cast. This is because Anne led the first all-female expedition to the South Pole. The third challenge is to read a book set in the future. This is because Anne has expeditions planned in the future, such as Africa this year, Oceania 2021, South America in 2023, Europe in 2025, and Antarctica in 2027. Challenge number four is to read a book featuring climate change or disastrous weather. This is because in 2007 Anne did an expedition across the Arctic Ocean to show what is happening with climate change down there. And number five is to read a book based on adventure, and obviously you can probably tell by now that Anne is a very adventurous person. The second woman that I got to choose the challenges for was Frida Kahlo. The first challenge is to read a book set between 1907 and 1954 because that is when she lived. The second challenge is to read a graphic novel because obviously Frida was a world-renowned artist. The third challenge is to read a book with a disabled main character, and that is because Frida herself had disabilities. Not only was she born with spina bifida, she also developed polio, and she was in a very tragic accident when she was 19, which left her with chronic pain issues for the rest of her life. Number four is to read a book set in Mexico or with a Mexican protagonist, and that is because that is where Frida is from. And number five, just to give you something easy, is to read a book with an aesthetically pleasing cover. Like I said, there are a number of other women on this list that each have their own set of challenges, so be sure to check out the links down below to see those challenges. As for the art challenge, it's all about creating a piece of art based on one of the women on the list. And every piece of art you create is two entries. Malls has come up with some great prize packages, so be sure to just check out all of those details if that is something that you want to enter. And I think that's it for now. I will be back soon with some recommendations for these challenges or books that I know that fit these challenges that I haven't read yet but might be reading myself for the challenges. Are you going to participate? Let me know about it down in the comments below. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye!